the storm Here comes the storm Scar and I are bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Crystal episode 32. In the last episode, we went and explored Sinewood City. Uh, we also battled the uh, you scene after or before seeing uh, Suicune himself. And uh, also, my Pichu evolved. Look at this. Alright, let's look at the team first. There's Eevee, there's Togepi, there's Poliwhirl, there's my Pikachu, he's all waving, he's saying, Hi everyone, hi Pikachu, anyway, and there's a Shuckle, and uh, I, yeah, never mind. Uh, I'm here outside in the daycare place because I'm going to pick up my Akuma for our gym battle today with Chuck. Are we geniuses or what? Uh, or what? Want to see your Akuma? Your Akuma has grown a lot. By level, it's grown by two. If you want your Pokemon back, it'll cost three hundred dollars. Okay, perfect. Here's your Pokemon. Uh, so we got our Akuma back. It is now level twenty-nine. There's nothing I could do about that. But uh, I'm gonna go pick up Dom Sim as well because yeah, we also got the Leaf Stone uh, off screen. Uh, as you'll see right here. I still need two more Leaf Stones to go to uh, perfect what was the last Let's Play. Actually, just now I had to start over a little bit from the last point I pressed save. But there's no big deal. I cut it pretty easily. All the Pokemon are the same level. I got all the items. Even Todd called me again. Or Todd called me again about the, the discount place. So I got all that stuff done. So you don't have to worry about that. But uh, let me deposit my Shuckle meanwhile. Or my Shucky. And I'm going to withdraw my dumb sim. Because we're going to go in the gym battle. And we're going to have one of the best matches you'll ever see. Because it's the truth. We get the best matches ever. So I'll uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. And now that uh, we got all that settled with. Let's go take on the gym. And let's uh, remind ourselves who we're dealing with here. Signwood City Pokemon Gym Leader Chuck. His roaring fists do the talking. So, uh, let's do this. This is actually going to be a very difficult gym. Where is... I don't see the guy that talks, you know, gives me advice. Signwood City Pokemon Gym. You know, the guy that always stands right here. Go like, hey, right you. You put champion making. Stuff like that. That's going to be rather difficult because most of my Pokemon are weak to fighting. So, uh, let's hope let's not die. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. So we got Black Belt Yoshi here with his first Pokemon and it is a Hitmonlee. Not the best way to start off but yeah half my team are weak to fighting type. That's Eevee, Togepi and Sudowoodo. So, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a pickle here. Let's use Necro. Himalaya is the more offensive of the two. And uh, it's, this is going to hurt. As you can see, the levels are pretty close. So that's why I say it's kind of... It's kind of like, eh, you know, uh, I should really be cautious and stuff. I probably will need to go into Pokemon Center every trip of uh, my trainers here. Let's go to Akuma. I would use Pikachu, but the jump kick would easily defeat me. Let's use Dig. Alright, so I jump kick and he misses and and he kept going and he crashed, which hurts himself, which is not that much. There is a upgraded move to that is high jump kick, which is um, he gets him even more damage if he misses, but also gives more damage to the opponent's Pokemon. Let's do his Ember. So already my hit or not mine, uh the Hitmonlee already killed my Pokemon. 
and they're doing great damage already for my Akuma as well so this is gonna be rather hard for me so Black Bell Yoshi was defeated this isn't real and in the process we get to face the second trainer and I don't even need my Pokemon because I'm stuck this way we martial artists fear nothing man no promises of it being a 20 minute uh, episode because Chuck and I like I said have great matches so Black Belt Lao wants to battle I think I could take on him on channel no problem unless he mock punches me because usually he has all these elemental punches and he wants to show them all off this is problem so let's do shadow ball so let's thunder punch hopefully it doesn't paralyze me shadow ball should do a lot of damage why is it neutral is a ghost move is it not weak to ghost that makes no sense let's just keep doing it I don't know why it thunder punched me again it usually does everything different Okay, there's Ice Punch. Okay, one more should do it. Fire Punch, and that's the third elemental punch. And Shadow Ball for the win. There we go. And Black Belt, uh, Black Belt, Yao, or Lao, uh, says that's shocking. So let's go to the Pokemon Center. The reason I put Eevee in the front is because I thought Shadow Ball would hurt it. And I, or hurt the other Pokemon. I would put Pikachu in the front, but maybe I should. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure yet on that. <clears throat> so I healed my Pokemon. I forgot to excuse myself to cut myself off, but I guess I'll do that later. Let's challenge this guy. Words are useless. Let your fist do the talking. Hey, that's Chuck's name. So we got Black Belt Knob wants to battle. You know, there's actually something uh, about Knob. He's one of the designers or something behind the Pokemon series games that he does uh, prior to the game and let me do Shadow Ball here and he's in like almost every Pokemon game I know he's definitely in the third generation games he's also a black belt on that which is pretty cool I mean you know he's a behind the scenes worker this is gonna hurt by the way oh Shadow Ball! Alright, so let's do that. Not quite. So, Monchoke. I'm switching. Oh, why didn't I... Wait, no, well that's good. I guess I could switch to a different Pokemon. Let's switch to... Domsen could take care of it pretty nicely. Even though it's weak against Fighting type, it does pretty good against them head on. Especially when it did a rock slide. I'm kind of confused on that. I guess Monchuk has rock slide just in case you, you, uh, you know, you use, use a flying type Pokemon or anything like that. I'm surprised it's not a resistance to that. It's resistant to rock though. That sucks. Let's use low kick then. That's gonna hurt. I'm pra I'm practically dead there. Yep. Uh, let's use Necro with the Surf here. Whoa, that did critical hit. Nice. And Eevee's level 29. Black Belt Knob was defeated. Right, you got $600. Okay. I'll be right back. I just need to heal again. Okay, I'm back. Let me switch my Pokemon right quick because there's already a level 29 in there. And uh, let me put El Forte in the front because I feel like El Forte is close to evolving, so I might as well do this. 
And uh, since there's boulders here, I have not teach any of my Pokemon strength yet. I don't know who I should. I should probably teach strength to Dom Sim here. Blanca can learn strength. <laughs> That's funny. Let me uh, continue using Dom Sim for strength, though. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's let's teach strength to. Let's teach strength to Blanca. Uh, it won't do much for for any of his stats, but it'll be funny to have my strong Blanca here. So let's uh, get rid of Charm. That's actually rather funny. Blanca now has strength. Okay, now about this puzzle right here. As a kid, this stumped me. Even though this is probably one of the most simplest puzzles you know, in game history, like in Link to the Past, they do this, and in other games. I never played Link to the Past, and this was my first time attempting this puzzle, and it really stumped me. I'm like, okay, how can I do this? Because I thought you could only push up. But what you're supposed to do is uh, get Pikachu to use strength here. Push that up, push that up, push that left. I kept doing the wrong thing, and uh, you could just... Don't hate me for it, but yeah, it's stummy. I am kind of slow, to be quite honest. <laughs> My raging fist will shatter your Pokemon. I'm pretty sure somebody already facepalmed, like, okay, really? Like, past you is, like, ridiculously dumb if you can figure that out, of all things. But Black Belt Lung wants to battle. He has a Mankey. Mankey has low defenses, but I don't know if I could take him out. Let's let's see. Let's see. I wanna use a metronome. Jerry swipes, I'm sure I could take him out. Especially since he's done two. Too bad he did a critical hit at the end. Thunderbolt, nice. Please do plentiful. That did decent, I guess. Low kick. Oh glad it missed. Nice. Alright, uh let's sweet kiss, I guess. Hopefully it hurts itself. These moves aren't bad, but I would like some that are super effective like that. Oh, okay, I'm alive. And if I flinched, let me switch. Uh, let me switch to... I really want to avoid Pikachu. I feel like they're going to easily take her out. And I don't like saying that. All right, well, let's use low kick. And it hurts itself again. Maybe I should have stayed with Togepi. Shoot. Uh, let's... I'll give... I'll give Pikachu a shot. Let's see if she could take out a Mankey. It's level 23 and my Pikachu is level 25. So let's give her a shot. Even though she, uh, Menke will get a free hit. You know. This is the first time you see Pikachu though. Okay, I about to say, if it actually did five hits, I um, will be so mad. Let's use my... Super Potion, it should be down here. I got 27. That's a lot. Hopefully it misses his next move. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Let's use Dizzy Punch and hope for the best. Whoa. I died. I think... Pikachu would have got a shot there. Uh, let's use Domson then. Low kick. One. Not very effective. And two. There we go. There goes Menke. L4 is level 26. Dom Sims as well as level 26. Primate. Uh, let's stay with Dom Sim here. 
And everybody does say that he looks like an explosion with the pig face. Not really the smartest primate, but uh, at least it won't do much. Alright, Rage's building, which is... Oh, that's gonna hurt. I should do fine, though. Okay, low kick again. As long as he keeps acting stupid, I'll do okay. Alright, one more. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, so close. And I flinched. That sucks. Let's use a Mumu's milk that I bought off. I think I put that on screen. I'm pretty sure I did. It shouldn't, uh, Primate shouldn't kill me after this next move, so I should do fine. Of course! Of course! Son of a... Togepi. It, hopefully it's not faster. Primate is a fast Pokemon. Swift! It's faster. Shoot! Ah, oh, I should have known. I knew it was fast. I wasn't exactly sure, though. Look at that. Half my Pokemon are dead. Eevee, go. Quick attack. Dead. Oh, boy. Black Belt Lung was defeated. I got shattered. What? Oh, four days evolving! Whoa! <laughs> Congratulations, Gerald Forte evolved into a toga tick. Does that mean he's alive? He's alive! He lives! <laughs> I can swear he died. That was a weird laugh, by the way. Too bad he doesn't have a flying move. But yeah, toga tick. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't even do Poly Worlds. Or Pikachu's or Togetic's bio. Probably do that in the next episode. I always forget things. I really do. Alright, well, we're gonna heal one more time. I forgot to excuse myself from skipping. But oh well, you know? The next trainer is Chuck. The man with roaring fists that does his talking. Let's see if we could take him out. This is gonna be a difficult battle, and I really need to strategize this. Oh my god. Every single time I do battle him, my god. So, what I'm gonna do for my strategy here, I'm gonna. I need to think about this. I'm gonna put Necro first, and then I'll go from there. So let's go talk to him. <laughs> so you come this far. Let me tell you I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. Take that statue. <laughs> They're scared now, are you? What? It was nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. He reminds me of Wario, but a lot of people call him Chuck Norris for short. Except Chuck Norris is much tougher than you. I'm, but if you were Chuck Norris and we do the best battles, what does that make me? Anyway, Leader Chuck wants a battle. I didn't do research of what moves that these two Pokemon have, so I do apologize. I kind of just remembered to do that now, but I, it was kind of too late for that. But uh, let's do Hypnosis. Quick Claw activate, but I missed. Shoot, great start. Great start, yeah, whatever. Hypnosis. So I'm gonna do hypnosis on that, and um, I'm just gonna wail on it with Surf, is my only strategy. So the moves are Karate Chop, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure it has Fury Swipes, pretty sure it has Rage, and I'm not sure about the last move. Focus energy, most likely. These are what my guesses are. 
Alright, one more surf should do it and that should take it out. Okay, so Prime is taken out and now I am indeed uh oh. The last Pokemon that Chuck has, the only you know, because it's just two. It's Polyrath. So what I'm gonna do here is hope for the best and use hypnosis. I'm gonna quickly switch into Pikachu and I'm just gonna hope that it thunder shocks to death. That's what my strategy is for Polyrath. Polyrath has the move Surf. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot that he does that. Yes. Okay, so Polyrath has the move Surf. Dynamic Punch. I'm dead. Oh God. <laughs> Let's use a forte. I'm gonna hope for the best and say Encore. I think Dynamic Punch only has five uses, so don't worry about that. Unless I get confused, really? Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 don't hurt yourself. Encore. Wait, why am I encoring? Too late. If you had a ghost move or a ghost type Pokemon, that would do wonders. Let's hope for the best for the last metronome because there's no way El Forte was going to make it. Okay, so... I'm going to use Akuma here. Probably a stupid idea, but I'm just going to keep on digging. Dig a hole... And the Encore ended already, but that's because Dynamic Punches, there's no more. But it does have Surf, of course, you know? Effin... Yeah, that's just how it goes. Survive! Oh, so close. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna revive my Poly World, because that's my only strategy main. And here's the Surf. Okay, well I had no choice there. Let's use Eevee. I'm gonna keep healing my Necro cause it wouldn't survive anything else. Okay, it had one more dynamic punch. Why did the Encore end it? Let's sand attack him to death. It has hypnosis, oh my god. Let's just keep sanding tagging him uh, till uh, Eevee's dead, pr practically. So there's two. Mind reader. Well, you could predict what I'm trying to go for, so. So, so far it looks like Polyrath has the moves Hypnosis, Dynamic Punch, Surf, and Mind Reader. So that's what it has. <sighs> and I got a Mint Berry. I think I used that in the last episode, but like I said, I had to start over from a certain point. But, uh, I'm just mentioning it, but it's no big deal because I did get everything exactly how I did in the last couple parts. So don't worry about that. I have that much of a problem with, with, <laughs> with saving and stuff like that. I've messed up like four times already. I had too many failed recordings. But anyway, let's, let's stop talking about that. His accuracy won't drop anymore, so this is a perfect time to use Necro now. So, Mind Reader. This is gonna come close. Hypnosis. Come on, nail the Hypnosis. Hypnosis battle! Okay, come on, really? Well, basically what Mind Reader does, it, whenever it predicts a move, is e it could easily dodge it. So that's practically why. Hopefully uh, Chuck doesn't put another freaking full heal. Because I do know that Chuck does it more than once. Hopefully it's not the case. Okay, good. So let's just Thundershock this thing to death. 
Hopefully Pikachu is... Well, whatever. As long as it keeps doing it. Let's just keep Thundershocking this thing. As long as he's still, you know, like that. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Okay, yeah. Alright, well, let's do Shadow Ball then. It shouldn't nail that much. Ugh. Shadow Ball. Let's keep Shadow Balling. Okay, two more. Polyraph got nothing. One more. One more. Okay, we got it. Woo! Probably not the most entertaining battle from all my Chuck fights, but it was more Necro's level 27, and he's trying to learn Rain Dance. Uh, no. That's but yes. Oh my god. Leader Chuck was defeated. What, huh? I lost! How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. And right, got $3,000. Right, receive the Storm Badge. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use Fly when you're not in battle. Here, take this too. And we got TM01, which is Dynamic Punch. Right, put the TM01 in TM Pocket. That is Dynamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Oh, nice. Alright, so let me show off the trainer case. I think I didn't even... Uh, that's not the trainer case, dude. Uh, I think I didn't even show Morty's badge. I believe not. But yeah, we're in the fifth way. And you know who's next. That is Jasmine herself. So let's go back to... Let's go back to Olivine City and heal, you know. Anyway, we're gonna talk to... Uh, let's talk to her now. You crossed the sea to get here. That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. The center would sign with Gym Badge when you should take this HM. And we got HM02, which is Fly, which Chuck just mentioned. So anyway, in the next episode, we will go to Olivine City again, so... My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he's getting a little chubby. Anyway, White Tigers and Dragons to you. Derp.